Good morning, Leticia and Lynn. Yes, it's a beautiful morning out here at Cal Expo. Teams are registering behind me, getting ready. In about a half hour, it's all going to kick off with opening ceremonies here at Cal Expo and then the walk shortly after that. And as you mentioned, it is a new name this year, Susan G. Komen, Race for the Cure. Now, Susan G. Komen, uh, more than pink walk. And our very own Edie Lambert is the MC. She's been emceeing this event for over two decades. And the changes uh, aren't explain to people at home uh, how the changes are for the better and kind of represent more of what Susan G. Komen does for everybody. Right, so in this region we've raised $22 million for fighting breast cancer, for supporting people who are going through it and for research, but a lot of people were raising this money and had no idea how it was actually spent. So the idea of more than pink is using different colors to represent the different things that Komen does and give people a connection. You know, raising money is one thing, but knowing that that money is being used for good is very powerful. Yeah, research, care, community, action, those are the uh, pillars that right. she's talking about. And now um, you have a special connection. Uh, you, you've been doing this for two decades. Tell us about why it's so important for you to uh, get out for cancer research. Well, I'll, I'll, I've lost actually a lot of people close to me to breast cancer. I hate this disease. But let's start with my aunt, who was diagnosed in the 70s. She didn't die of breast cancer. She died of the treatment of breast cancer because back in the 70s, it was so brutal. They did the best they could for her. And it did buy her some time, but eventually it was radiation that ate away at her heart tissue. These days, our treatment is so much better. Breast cancer is so much more beatable. We're finding it earlier and we're kicking it. And so that's what this is all about. The survival rate from back then to right now is, you know, it's it's better than 98% if it's caught early. That is incredible. And so that that's really the heart of why I'm here. And uh, I had to steal her away. She was taking pictures with survivors. Tell me about uh, some of the stories, uh, the, the survivors, seeing them out here. I was talking to someone earlier in a wheelchair two weeks out from a mastectomy, really getting out here and seeing those stories, the survival, the, the uh, care, that is really important and that's one of the things that I love about this event in particular. So Tish, that's one of my favorite things. The woman you met, who is literally two weeks out of surgery, is surrounded by women who have survived this for 10 years, for 20 years, for 30 years. That represents hope and that's who they're going to be walking with this morning. Women who've been there, I think for, for people who haven't been through cancer and people who have been through cancer, when you've been through it, having that support system it's people who understand like no one else can and that's one of these uh, the things that this event has done for the past 22 years and will continue to do even though it does have a, a new name and uh, you can still come out they're still taking registration um, for about the next 20 minutes or so you have to get here before nine and then uh, right at nine uh, they're gonna start the opening ceremonies and then right after that the walk starts and one good thing about the change is Edie actually gets to go and walk it this year with all of those survivors and with everyone out here um, supporting the cause. So just a really great thing going on here at Cal Expo and you can still come on out if you have the time to get down here before nine o'clock. Live here at Cal Expo, Tish Pomadesi, KCRA 3 News.